Hello BSD community. I wanted to give an update, a post-Thanksgiving uh, update, uh, mostly because the Pennsylvania Department of Education and the Pennsylvania Department of Health uh, put out new rules, guidelines for schools to follow a couple days before Thanksgiving. Uh, and our district had to uh, attest that we would follow these new guidelines uh, if we continue in a hybrid format, which we are when our counties are in substantial spread. So um, by uh, us needing to align with PDE's new rules for us, uh, it caused us to have to change how we've been doing our dashboard. Previously on our dashboard, our case dashboard, uh, we've been posting uh, the date that we put the letter up or that the principal sends the notification out to parents and staff. Um, PDEs uh, now has their own 14-day uh, rolling um, uh, timeline that um, is, starts with a, different with a different date. So we are now posting to align with PDE, we're posting the date that the person, student or staff was last in school, which actually makes more sense because that gives uh, us all a better view of when a positive person was actually in school, um, as opposed to what we had been doing, which was posting the date of the letter, which might have been several days after the person was last in school. So um, what you'll notice on our dashboard, and I encourage you to check it regularly, is that um, the last day in school prior to today um, was 1120, because that's when uh, before Thanksgiving break. Um, and now as we post new cases, it will be the last day that the, the positive person was in school and then go 14 days forward uh, during that time. Um, so it's kind of behind the scenes uh, tracking, but I, I felt it was important to do a quick video to explain uh, we're aligning with PDE's new rules for us and it actually makes more sense um, the way we're doing it now. Um, so please check out the dashboard. Also wanted to mention that in the new PDE guidance, that they gave us uh, guidelines for when uh, individual schools should close based on a number of cases and the size of the school. So we'll be following those guidelines. Um, and I want to say, you know, we're closely watching the uh, case count as we come now the days after Thanksgiving. Um, we will, uh, we're watching it district wide, we're watching it school by school. I am concerned about the volume of positives. I'm also concerned that. Uh, in the past, I was able to confidently say that no cases in school were connected to another. Now, while I can't say for sure a case led to another case, there have been uh, several situations where um, two positive persons were uh, in contact with each other in a school. Um, and so it's hard to tell who was positive first, but it's close enough for me to be concerned uh, about potential spread. So again, we're gonna double down on the masking and the social distancing, um, but <clears throat> with the, as the case volume goes up, we'll review this with our public health experts at St. Luke's and the City uh, Health Bureau, uh, as a matter of fact, later today and then again on Thursday. But I do wanna say that um, as this time period between Thanksgiving and Christmas and then after Christmas, with the surge upon a surge, uh, I really, I need parents uh, to be prepared in case we do need to close an individual school if cases go up, um, to be prepared uh, for a short-term notice that uh, your child's school could be closed if there are several cases um, within the 14-day period. Uh, so I'll keep you posted, uh, probably have another video in the very near future um, because things are moving rapidly at this point with the case counts. Thank you, please uh, stay safe and remember that a pandemic is not an individual health crisis, it's a community health crisis. We need to stick together with compassion and grace. Thank you.